Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, hopefully we advance the plot. Who's to say? I see a Vulpix right here and it looks very like it wants to be caught though. Are you guys right? Let's see. Can we catch something in the first three seconds? Dun dun. What? Oh, we got it! Booyah! That is excellent. All right, we're off to a really good start. I like, I like that kind of start. You know what I'm saying? Number we've caught without being spotted. That's a research task as well. We got two research tasks for that. That's fantastic. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't need to go to the map. Let's go. Let's. We're on a deer. Okay. So last episode. Look, there's another Vulpix. Tremendous. Should we knock it out? Should we let it know that our Vulpix is the superior Vulpix? I don't see why you wouldn't want to let it know. Hello, inferior Vulpix. This will be a research task, you know? Let's just smack it with Louisa. Give it the old Aqua Jet. Kabam! Yeah, all right, see ya. It's dead. It's dead with a Rostberry, so that's nice. It's also, uh, last time these Mothum were giving us some real beef, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna knock them out, because they're a pretty solid experience. And, uh, we can just one-shot them anyway, right? With ye old Thunderfang! Boom. Dead. Ha! Oh, my Thunderfinger, of course, meant Firefang. <laughs> I know, I know what elements are. I can read. These are just dead moths. Dead moths. There we go. Prepare to die. You're dead. Mm -hmm. Look, it's like a thousand experience per moth up. That's insanity. Like the whole team gets so much. Well, I said a thousand. It was 853. So numbers are hard. Maybe, I, you know what happened is I knocked out a beautifly just before we started recording. And that said beautifly. Oh, how about, how about you knock it out? Yeah, fight this thing. The beautifly gave me a thousand experience. So let's see how much we get off this one. We may as well get as much experience as possible so things don't keep dying. You gotta go name that Vulpix as well. That's a big thing. Look how far we have to go. 332 meters away on top of Apom Hill. That's where they're sending us, right? To Apom Hill to face our hated enemies, the Apom. Well, I would have thought the, the, the Drapion was gonna be like this new foe. No, how wrong I was. Apom is the least trustworthy Pokemon I've ever even heard of. Yeah, look at that, a thousand experience. It's unbelievable. Here we go, we're just gonna sprint. Um, we're gonna check in at camp. We're gonna name, we're gonna nickname the Vulpix. Maybe get, get a quick rest up. Oh, look, there's our old friend, Giant Scorpion. All right, see you later, bud. You were fun to try and catch, sort of. It was, it was really hard. I didn't, we didn't catch it at the end, so that was bad. Um, yeah. Anyway, oh, is this not even where we're going? Aren't we going to Apom Hill? Isn't that what's next? I'm pretty sure it is. Hey, you. Uh, I want to see my Pokemon, please. Uh-huh. Yeah, I would like to see my Pokemon. The question is, should we bring the Vulpix with us? It's only level 31. I honestly don't think so. I like... I think it's good that we have Jellybean and we have Anton here. Anton... We got, I think we need to have a fighting type. It'd be fantastic if Anton could go ahead and evolve. Have ourselves a nice Toxicroak, but we should give a nickname to the Vulpix. Master Namer, would you like to pick a name? Oh my goodness. <sighs> it's been a hot second since I've had the opportunity. I know you have, it's, just, we've got, it's, been, it's been a minute. We've got, we have ourselves a female Vulpix here. Oh! Alright, 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 let's see here. Lazy me! That's after Lena Lazenby. What's up, Lena? Thanks for watching the show. You are now a Vulpix, who at the moment, I think is just gonna be there in the box. But I do love me a fire type Pokemon. And uh, as such, it is possible that it could make it onto the team. Although uh, I like the team at, I mean, I like the type coverage on the team at the moment. Although I feel like we gotta get, let's, I think we need to get some reps in. Um, Let's see, first of all, I'd like to do some shopping, please. Maybe you have potions. That's good. I'm gonna get like 10. Yeah. That seems good. All right, good, good, good. Did we rest? Let's rest. Just a little while, just a little while. Then we have to go to Apom Hill, talk to the Diamond Clan guy, and then he's gonna be like, oh, kill a Dusk Noir or something like that. I don't know. Um, to, oh, also, I forgot to put on the map that we caught something. Uh, oh, where did we catch the... The... I think we caught... 
right here. This is where we caught the Vulpix, right? Right? We went up to the left up here, Castaway Shore. So we haven't been down here. No have been to Windbreak Stand. Yeah. We're going here to Apom Hill. Let's set a rally point. Boom. Now we know where we're going. All right. And uh, I can tell you for sure what we're not going to catch on Apom Hill. And that is going to be Apom. There will be no Apoms on this team. Rest assured. What we are going to do, though, is knock down any available tree that we need to knock down. Oh, Drip Blam! That would have been a really good catch. With our... Uh, Awesome Anton to get him any additional experience that Anton requires, right? Because we we are we are, we need the oh there's so many floats all over there they're scary looking and I don't like them. Ugh. Anton needs the experience because we uh, need fighting types apparently, so especially since we're heading over to Apom Hill. Blah. Ugly ugly monkeys with their dumb tails and their even uglier evolution. I don't know whose favorite Pokemon is Apop, but it's not me. And look, there's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Let's kill it. Go now. Yeah, how do you feel about a one-on-one -on -one fight, you, you, you dumb purple monkey? I bet you don't feel very good. Oh, adopted a hard-hitting stance. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Well, we'll see. We'll see how scared I am. Rock smash! Kaboom! Yeah. Swift. I bet this actually does a lot of damage. Oh my god! No. No, it did not just do that. It did did you did you Oh my gosh. No. No. I I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I'm trying to sit here and get revenge and it blows up in my face. Anton, I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Alright, Jelly Bean, this is up to you. Alright. I'm, I want, I, that, that was the worst thing that's ever, I mean, I'm so mad that that just happened, Jelly Bean, that was, that was pretty great, okay, oh gosh, I'm so mad that that just happened, I can't, but we just lost a Pokemon. I was so ready to just come in there and punch that thing in the face, which we did, and then we just die. I just, I barely got to use Anton at all. No! Look at this more! This, is, this is makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heavy ball this thing. That's what I'm gonna do. Can we? Is it possible? A satchel? Look, someone, the satchel means someone else died fighting this ridiculous creature. Which I'm not surprised by, because it's obviously the worst creature that's ever existed. I don't like it. It's ugly. It has red eyes. <coughs> and it's ugly. And I don't, yeah, come over here. Get over here. Why don't you just... Why don't we just go like this? Why don't we get you right, 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 right there? You know, just go, 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 go get it. Go get, go get the berry. Go get the berry. Go get the berry, you stupid, ugly thing. I will kill you. I hate you. You're the worst thing that's ever happened to Pokemon. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, it's gone. It didn't catch it. Okay. <coughs> Now it's mad at us. Of course. Those heavy balls are terrible. Let me just go ahead and say, let's go ahead and return the satchel. Are we on the eight? Aren't we? Isn't this where we're supposed to be? Hideaway Bay. I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. There's an APOM here, which we're not fond of. We're not going to catch it. Ooh, a Chansey! Now, wait a minute, you guys. There's a, ch there's a Chansey. Get away from me! Okay, okay. I want the Chansey, though. But I do want that Chansey. Oh my gosh. Uh, these these guys, they, they are asking. They are asking for a bruising. Okay, I'm trying. I need to focus, Murkrow. Alright? Just, just, okay. Level 44! Oh, 
Oh my. There's two of them we have to run. Yes, I want to run away. Are you crazy? Level 44? Why are they so strong? Here I am thinking we're over leveled. Meanwhile, that Murkrow almost just gave us a rogue knockout. This has been terrible. We are off to a very poor start today, you guys. I am sorry. All right. First of all, nice. That was like a high defense Pokemon. You know what I mean? This game is so hard. Oh, it's so hard. I'm going to go. What do I want to do? What I'm going to go do? What I'm going to go do is try and catch the chance. Okay? Please leave me alone, birds. I don't like you, and you're ugly, and I don't like you. Okay? Give me, give me some berries. Oh my gosh, there's a Chansey. That's that's what we want. We just need a chance at the Chansey. Give me a Chansey, a Chansey. Okay, we're gonna try and sneak up on it. Of course, that's this is always the best way to catch stuff, right? Great ball to the back. Oh, come on. There's just, because there's a branch. No, there's not a branch in the way. Oh, just don't look at me, Chansey, forget it. I'm not here. These branches are apparently more here than they look like, but I am just, just, just stay. Are you, no, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, stay. Oh, no, don't run, don't run, don't run. Join us, you're running so fast. Hey, walk, oh no, don't see me. I'm just, I'm your friend. I want the chancy. Give me the give give me a chancy. We're gonna get it. Maybe. Just turn around. You have anything chancy might want to eat? Okay, it doesn't matter now. Just just turn around, chancy. We're gonna get you. We deserve this. After everything we've been through, I want the big chancy. We want just the biggest HP monster the game has ever known. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got it. We got the Chansey. Oh, what a what an absolutely tremendous catch to us. Okay, this discard. I don't know what you do. Get out of here. Well, Thunderstone. We could have a choice card, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 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 We're obviously in the wrong spot somehow. Somehow, I mean, I set a rally point and promptly didn't follow it. <laughs> We're going back to camp because we need to do some things. Man, we are not making good progress, but we are making some progress. Okay, first of all, Anton, God, I am so sorry, dude. I had such faith in you. I thought you were the solution to our APOM problem. I was ready to just sit there and grind on them and let you destroy monkey after monkey. And instead, APOM proved that it is truly a terrible foe and stole you from us when I was so excited. Ugh, I can't even release you from here. I gotta go talk to this guy. No, talk to you, uh, yeah. I could use it, oh wait. Okay, whoops, hit the wrong button. Hold on. Okay, great. We're all healed, yeah. Except not really, because one of them's dead and you can't heal from death. I want to see my Pokemon. Oh, Anton, I'm so sorry, bud. I must release thee. I wish I got to know you a little better and that you could have killed more monkeys, but I, I failed you. All right, Ben, I need another name for this here. Chansey. I actually love Chansey. Dude, right? Who doesn't love a good Chansey? Okay, okay. All right. Let's see here. Talia. Talia? T Talia. Okay. T-A-L-I-A. -A. Talia. Talia the Chansey. Also, welcome to the team. Apparent new strongest level? Like, what? Let's uh, check the... Let's first of all check our summary here. We have giant special defense, almost zero actual defense. So have to be very, very careful about making sure we don't get, you know, breathed on physically, but that we get, um, we can basically stop any specially defensive attack. We also have monster HP, 400. Let's see, baby doll eyes, 
fairy wind. We are only normal type. So even though we have oh, soft boiled for, okay, we have soft boiled. I don't know if double edge, mm, we have calm mind. That makes us even more defensive. That's good. Draining kiss, good, because it also restores our HP as does soft boiled. Double edge is tricky because it hurts our self to use. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna use draining kiss Mostly. Yeah, that's probably where we're at. And we'll be on the lookout for more moves for you, but I think we're actually good with the moves you have right now. Now that said, now we have two normal types, so it's possible we need to move Jelly Bean off the team, but to that end, we don't really have another Pokemon who's quite in the level zone that we need it to be. I mean, Lazenby is as close as we get, and it might be good out as a fire type, but it might also just be good to have extra, you know, um, extra normal, well, I don't know. Is it better? Is it? We do have some like dark slash coverage here. We have pretty high attack, but we are a bit of a glass cannon. There's no doubt. So I'm going to keep Jelly Bean on the team for now. But just for now. Oh, left something behind. A sack of grit gravel. Thank you. Thank you. Let's actually go to the chest because we might be able to do some, some upgrades or something. Can I? Oh no, I have to like move them over and then use them. That's frustrating. Let's move this, move to item storage, move, I don't know what you do. Move to item storage, pep up plant seems good. Let's just move all these bean, beans over. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's get our, move all, let's move you to the satchel. I think this is six to eight and this is three to five. So let's move this. I bet we can use that one too. Boost up our team a little bit, right? Use compatible. Yay. Okay, Mercury, what do you still have that needs improvements? Special attack. Let's just go ahead and do it. Get Mercury nice and chonky there. Use. Okay, excellent to see this. Mercury, yeah, we definitely want to make sure your defenses are as high as possible. Of course, that's our main goal. You are our absolute... You know, we have to we have to invest where it's smart, right? And that I feel like is probably one of the smarter investments we can make. Anyway, back to our rally point. Here we go. We have Talia here, lovely, and we got Big Merc. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we have to go this way? Do we need to stay high? Is that how? No, I think we just go down here. All right, I promise I'm gonna like actually play the game. Maybe, maybe I make no promises. <laughs> Okay, so that that's the rally point right there. Is that right? Did, am I doing the wrong? Am I going to the wrong place? How could that be? Oh, look, it's this. Oh, okay. So I think we're in the right spot because this guy's here, and probably if we're talking to, well, why hello there, Miss J. Fancy running <laughs> into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm gonna hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going? I don't want to tell you. So, so, we'll be coy about it. No need to be humble, I see you've already got your hands on four plates. Well, how do you see that? Where are you looking? You gain plates with your call friends and nobles. And when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? I'm not telling you my secrets, man. The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The, I love how we're in ancient times and there's still the ancient hero. There's always an ancient hero in Pokemon. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from the almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. All right, but please don't overexert yourself. I hate for something to happen to one of a guild's most loyal customers. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> don't let anything happen. Then you won't be able to spend money with me. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. Hey. Yeah, is this the... Yeah, can I enter? Are you here? Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Ah, this guy. So, um... Da 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 da. Hi, Miskin of the Diamond Clan, a Galaxy Team member with a Celestica flute. Oh, you must be Jay, right? <laughs> I've done something to warrant your visit. Yes. Uh huh. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me an advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? 
I need Basque Legion's aid. Oh, so you want to go to Fire Spit Island? That's not really what I said. Uh, you probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. <clears throat> okay, but preparing us favorite. Oh, that's a bit more difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, but really just impossible, if I'm being honest. Impossible? The possible. <clears throat> I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but... But then, well, you see, this next part is something I can never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. You, you really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? <laughs> well, okay. You didn't tell me what it was. I mean, was it an Apom? Dusclops? No big deal. Got it. All right, I'm on it. We have to go catch Dusclops. Wow, everyone with the Galaxy Team just like you? Your nerves of steel. Titanium! I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need only has one eye and can be found wandering in the Deadwood Haunt. So this is a tricky one. I'm not sure if Dusclops would, it should count because you have to catch it. I'm not sure if that should count as the one we're forced to catch. <coughs> Excuse me. But Dusclops is also pretty good, so I don't really mind catching it. Um, as it is, you know, ghost type and bulky. So that's pretty solid. Hey, look, an Apom. Least favorite Pokemon. Oh, look, there's a Apom in the tree. He's going to attack. Or is he? Look at that sneaky Apom sitting in the tree. Oh my gosh. It's lurking so, so rudeless, so recklessly. Ready, there's more, there's more. They're so, they're just smiling. Smiling little murderers. All right, here we go. Now we're heading, oh, now we can get to the dust cloud. Now, this is actually trickier than you might think. Typically you can just walk up, I am not, absolutely not doing Nope, not helping you. No, why? Why? Ugh, excuse me. Have you seen a fellow from the construction corpse named Yorick? No, I haven't. Oh, this is hopeless. Why could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. No, no. I do you want? I feel like last time I accepted a favor from one of you people, I got. I, it was very bad. It was not good. All right. So there's a bunch of things here. The dead one haunt is where we're going. Um, but we can also find, oh, we actually found, we got a Pokemon in Hideaway Bay, right? That's where we got Chansey. But Bathas Lagoon, I think that's where we're at right now. Yes. Bathas Lagoon, so we can catch something here. And we should. Because we got to get, you know, points for our research log or whatever. Who's fighting me? No one? Okay. That's good. I don't like being fought at random. Being attacked by the wild. Oh, what's that? A Togepi! Well, 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 let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, I, I, oh, get him. No! Get back here. Come on. Oh, we got it. Togepi in the house. All right. Now, Togepi, I don't really like, but Togetic and Togekiss. Woohoo! Very good, very good. Get Togekiss on the team, be all about that. Has my vote. So, anyway, congrats, we have a Togepi. We'll need a name for that when we get back to camp. Also, this Golduck looks like it is fixing for a bruising. Right, give it the old Thunder Fang. Level 35, it's got nothing. This is just free experience, right? Going down. Ka-slam! All right, defeated Golduck. So the tricky part about getting the, um, <clears throat> Actually, this might be easier than I thought. The tricky part about getting to the dust claps is it's right over there by that boat, but it is like super duper surrounded by ghost Pokemon and they will all notice you. So it's not like you can just walk up and catch it. You do have to sort of like fight your way there and you have to be kind of strategic about it because otherwise you'll get like swarmed. So you want to try and like isolate each Pokemon one at a time and knock it out real quick. So I'm thinking we're going to use Jelly Bean because Jelly Bean has a dark type attack and can't be affected by ghost type attacks because it's normal type. So... Um, that's pretty solid. This thing's gonna get Thunderfang. We're gonna get some free XP. That's nice. May as well get this too while we're here. Ooh, Alpha Golduck over there. That's pretty fun. Um, hey, what do you want? Are you gonna fight me? You don't wanna fight me, bro. Get ready for Fire Fang. See, I don't think we've been giving Mercury enough to do in the past couple episodes, you know? We have this big, strong thunder line with us, and we're not, you know, we're not taking advantage of it. So we just gotta let, Mer you know, Mercury so far has been 
the savior of so many situations. And we need to keep the strong strong. We need also need to make the weak strong. That is how, oh, why did I use the wrong attack? Whoops. It didn't matter, because Mercury comes through anyway with the old stab thunder. The old stab thunder fang, as it were. Yes. Beautiful. Well done, sir. Oh, a chat art. That's interesting. You'll see a lot of chat art. I feel like it's one of Pokemon's more forgotten Pokemon. Feels like it could be the subject of a video almost. Nope, okay. So let's see. Let's just, I, I mean, we can take this down, no problem, right? We're just gonna fight our way over there partially because that'll then ultimately give us more um, oh, experience as well. And because that's basically how we're gonna have to advance once the um, once we get over there. So it's just good, good practice for isolating stuff. We don't want any like double fights or something at complete random. We missed! Roost, what a waste of an attack. HP is full, yeah. I understand why he went for the roost. He was like, I'm about to die, so I should try and maybe do a healing move. Look, isn't that crazy? The the star avias don't give you as much experience as the beautifies do. It's kind of surprising. All right, Chatot, let's go. Let's go! Oh, see, this is a double fight now. I don't. This is what we don't want. Double edge. Oh my gosh, no! Yeah, we're running. Yeah, we don't want this. We don't need. We don't need double fights like that. Those are no goose stuff. Because sometimes they'll just sweep in with who knows how many attacks, and then you're just gone. Let's see. Are they still both interested? Maybe we go down here. Oh, the Starly. Mm -hmm. Is it just you now? I feel like it is. Now we can just take this thing on. Solo! It's going down. It's going down. Aerial Ace. Wow. Okay, look at that. We shake it off. No big whoop. We go Thunder Fang. Thunderfang has that like 95 accuracy, which is like, it's frustrating because like, you can rely on it so reliably, except then very occasionally it's like, ah, we missed. Seems like a key moments. This guy's bothering us. <clears throat> this is like, I feel like where they really decided like, oh yeah, you could have walked past anything before now, but now you want to get to that Dusclops? We're gonna put a very narrow strip of land in your way and you will, everything will attack you. That's okay, we got it. I mean, we can just sprint right past a lot of these guys and get to the ghost, but I'm telling you, uh, they will gang up on you. You gotta be a little bit strategic about it, especially because we really can't afford to just like, you know, go at it until we uh, die, until we succeed, because we could die and then that would be bad and we don't wanna die. So, we are getting close though. Very close. It's like right in the middle over there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, does it only come out at night? Did they say that? Oh man. Or maybe I have to go talk to this lady first. That'd be frustrating. Sands Reach. All right. What do you want? Oh, good you're here. Like I said, I need your help catching Yorick. He and I came out to set up a base camp, but then he went off on his own to get the lay of the land. He hasn't come back. York ought to be out here somewhere nearby. If you see him, tell him to come back here already. All right, whatever. <clears throat> I feel like... Does it need to be night? It probably does. In which case, I have made a mistake. And would need to come all the way back here. That would be a bummer. Or we could just go waste time until it becomes night naturally, I suppose. Right? That could happen. Could be one way of going about this. There are these little fingers over here you can go explore. Which, if I recall, have some pretty good stuff in the boxes. Bonk. Pokeball. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't have any space for Pokeballs? Is that a joke? Is that a jokeable? Oh, that be so annoying. Maybe if I find Yorick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A smoke bomb. I want that. Also, we can go over here and get um, lost and found. 55 merit points. That is not enough. I want that smoke bomb. 
What can we drop? Ball of mud? Discard. Also, we can just use this, right? Luisa! All right, good. Yay, I don't know. Go away. Don't want to talk to you, Staravia. What's in this box? Treasure? Probably. Get it. Great ball. Scatterbang. Honey cake. All sorts of stuff. Okay, I guess maybe if we find Yorick, then we can set up the camp here. And if we set up the camp, then we can make it night. Aha! I bet that's him. Struggling with the chat hot. <clears throat> Are you Yorick? Ah! Just stay away! Ah. Why is this Pokemon talking? Quack? Quack? You all right? Fall from it! <clears throat> Help me! All right, I guess we can fight this chat hot. No big deal. We've been knocking them out all over the place anyway. Not Mercury. You got it. This is like weird epic setup that's got going for us. Kabam! There we go. Dead. Oh yeah. Now can they go set up a camp? Because then we can just make it night. We can just rest till night. And then we can catch the dust clops. Boom. Thank goodness, I don't know if I'd have survived without you. No one told me that'd be Pokemon that talk like people out here. What a fright. I'm not so afraid. Back where I grew up, folks often said that if you hear someone talk when nobody's around, it's not a ghost playing tricks. It's just a chat art. Anyway, thank you for kinding Yorick. I'll have him set up camp now. Up to and lift. Yay, we have a camp. Cool. All right, this is actually very helpful. Yay. Maybe that gets us more XP or something, too, in our adventure log. Oh, it's Purple Hat Man. What a splendidly scenic camp! It's ought to be quite convenient for surveying Pokemon that live on the waterfront. Yes, indeed. That guy's here, too. Lovely. Let's do a quick rest. Until nightfall. Dun, dun, dun! All right. Now we're going to switch over to Jelly Bean, and we're going to start wrecking some... Dusclops, hopefully. They should just all be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the ghosts are out. Where's the Dusclops, though? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're sneaky. Oh, they're sneaky, all right. There's a Drift Bloom. There's the Dusclops, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is try and lure. We're just gonna knock this, so we don't have to fight one thing at a time. And Jelly Bean should be pretty good at this, right? Because we can just Nasty Plot, or not Nasty Plot, Night Slash these guys into Oblivion. Yeah, you defeated Drift Lim. Darn right we did. Let's see, can we just, maybe we can just Great Ball this thing, no problem. I want it to turn around so I can get the back strike. Oh. Boom! Back strike. Let's get it. Let's get it. Boom! Just like that. Man, I had such a harder time doing that on my, <laughs> my personal playthrough. Man. All right. Well, we did it. We got Dusclops. Look at us go. We're amazing. All right. How long? Let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to that other guy now. And uh, once we get, then we'll see, if maybe he can make the thing for us so we can get to Basque Legion. All right, that'll be exciting. And we're running! D did you bring it? The Pokemon with a name that sounds like Dust Bops? I sure did. Prepare to have your pants scared off, I guess. You really brought it? No, don't bring it out! Sure, I caught it in a great ball, not in that Pokeball. Uh, usually I ask Palina if the Growlithe she takes care of can help me with this bit. But this time you need to help since, well, since we're making the snack so that you'll be accepted by a Basculegion. But once I get the signal, you have that dust bops of yours use its dark pulse. What are you thinking? It's like Voldemort? You can say its name, man. Three? Two? Ugh! I can't even count. Could you get a grip? Seriously, bro. 
Right, right. So, so counting down to it just makes me in anticipation. Let's just simply have you do it when I say go. And go! All right. Is that it? <laughs> okay, then. You obtained a ball of Basque Legion food. Yay, favorite food of Basque Legion. Pokemon that will bear you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way from ingredients gathered via equally unusual methods. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's a perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Then let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. Da -da -da -da. All right, then. All right, then. Well, I think that is probably a pretty good place to stop. We completed our quest. We advanced in the game. We got the food. We got the Dusclops. We caught some new friends at long last. We also lost Anton, so please leave your condolences for Anton in the towel section down below. Uh, also, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would be really helpful. And don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. But otherwise, until next time, bye! And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineras, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork. <laughs>